So today I'm reviewing the Akaso Brave 4. Uh, it's comparable to like a 4K GoPro camera. The thing is, it's only $80 on Amazon. Okay, so if you guys don't know this about me already, I am notorious for buying things that I absolutely do not need. I thought, why not make a review channel of it? I actually asked you guys, some of you said no. I'm gonna do it anyway. Before we go any further, I just want to shout out uh, Evan Stewart for this obsessed shirt. He's going to be having an obsessed conference in Dallas. If anybody's interested in going, check it out in the description of this video. I need a little knife thingy. The first thing that you'll notice, and I don't know if this was their actual packaging or Amazon, but there's stuff moving inside, which I wasn't really too happy about. So first things first, I had to open four of the plastic stickers that were on here because of course somebody might steal it if they did it, right? So that top part comes off. Okay, so now that we took the cover off, um, the thing that was shaking around looks like it's almost like a watch. Um, I wouldn't say that you're gonna be impressed by this by any means, but I guess it's just kind of like a remote shutter clicker. It has a camera on there and a video. What I did notice though, is that this comes with a protective casing, um, like the GoPro does, which is really nice. And it um, seems like it's good quality too. It's the same mount as like a GoPro would have, right? So we're gonna go ahead and take all this stuff off that the plastic comes off now. All right, so to unmount, you're gonna go ahead and take this screw right here, turn it. All right, so just an update, screwdriver didn't work. I had to go get a uh, power drill why would you do this to me, Akaso? Here we are 20 minutes later and we have the camera out. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it because I really am interested in seeing how the quality of the camera itself is. First impressions, this thing feels like a toy. Um, oh. It's plastic all around. Um, I mean with GoPro usually you have like some metal on the body and some weight. I would say this thing's probably like half a pound. I mean the camera, the camera actually looks pretty good. It looks like a really, really good camera, as you guys can see. Uh, the all black body looks really, really nice too. Um, and it has some details on here which are really nice. Even the screen on the back, it, it doesn't look like it's going to be anything too crazy or nice. Oh, here's another quick tip. So these things do not come with uh, memory cards. Uh, if you guys want to on Amazon, this thing came same day, 16 gigabyte uh, PNY card, $6 uh, delivered. So we're going to put the camera back in the body. Um, again, this, it, it almost feels like I have a GoPro in my hand um, once I do have the body on here. And I think that that's probably what they were trying to accomplish. Um, it has the instructions on the back here as well, which says getting started, peel off the film on the camera screen, camera lens and camera and the waterproof case. Well, if I do that, I'm not gonna know the instructions anymore, so I'm gonna wait. Um, make sure the battery is full of power for first time use. Format your micro SD card not included firstly in the camera before using. So now that we have that, we can remove it and we have a nice, really looking case here. All right, so let's see what else is in the body. Hopefully I don't need a power drill for this too. All right, so this is the box that came with the unit itself. And go ahead and open it and there's your quick reference guide um, it looks like some sort of different mounting um, which is this one actually looks kind of cool because it has a, a clip on there um, we'll figure out what that's for later uh, two different mounting pads I'm guessing this is for um, if you have some sort of a tripod you'll see that one's threaded this one is not so we'll find out about that you have a micro USB, which I'm going to guess right now, this is for charging um, because it doesn't look like that would be connected to a computer. So that's your charging cable right there. Another shoe adapter, uh, in case you wanna put it on one of these probably. Man, they give you all kinds of good accessories with this. I've never seen a lot of these, even with GoPros. What the hell is this thing? It looks interesting. Uh, you got a bunch of straps, Velcro straps uh, to put it in. Uh, also, it looks like you get a strap for your arm. I don't know where else I could go, but you can put it so that, that way you don't lose it when you're traveling. Man, they just went all out. I'll give them that. They really did go all out on the stuff that they give you. Uh, zip ties. Um, 
I'm a little lost on this one. I don't know if there's some like SM play that they expect you to be doing with this. Something to clean the lens and then two more Velcro sticky. Um, looks like double sided pads. I'm not even close to being done because there's also an extra back part for the protective uh, waterproof case. You have a battery. I'm not sure if it actually comes with the battery now that I'm thinking about it inside of there. That's probably why it's so light. Um, I'd be surprised if it was that heavy because that battery feels almost like the exact same weight as what they gave me. Bless you. You got another one of these uh, shoe connectors that you can put. It's almost like a universal one. Oh, look at that. That's actually pretty cool. It comes with the second battery, guys. See, now I'm starting to, I'm really getting even more skeptical as to why this thing was $80 because if it's that cheap and it comes with so many things like what it, it, this is gonna be on surprise me if it's really any good at this point another adapter for some sort of a tripod because it is threaded on both sides it looks like oh look at that so you have your battery charger so that doesn't connect directly to the GoPro itself but you can connect two batteries at once so that's actually really really cool what else is in here what, at this point, I really don't want any more stuff, guys. Another connector. I'm gonna guess there's like four more connectors in here at this point. Uh, let's see, so another connector. Jeez, are you gonna give me another connector? And we have one more connector. I actually like these because um, these are ones that you can use on a lot of things and you can actually put these uh, straight to a tripod and then with all the fancy connectors that they just insisted on giving you there's your gopro so that's really really neat right there i think that that'll be useful and that's it there's nothing else in the box i know you guys wanted more and you were dying for more but that's it <coughs> Oops. all right guys so for 80 dollars, this is everything that you get as you can see it's quite a bit in this small package for a bundle i mean i i know that the actual gopro the the box is probably almost the same size um, and you really only get about three or four things. So as far as like accessories and like just different amount of things that you get, this is really, really great value. I'm more than anything kind of curious now as to see what the video is gonna look like and how this thing holds up, um, the options that it has um, compared to like the GoPro and everything. And really like does $80 make sense? Um, I'm, I'm honestly at this point, if it shoots 4K and it's not grainy, I would say that GoPro has a really, really big competitor in front of them. Okay, so while I'm trying to put in the battery, the battery goes at the bottom of the Asako, Akaso uh, Brave 4. But if you notice, the clip, it doesn't have like a hinge or anything, so it kind of just fell off. It's gonna take a second to remind everybody that this was $80, and for that, I am still interested. All right, so we're gonna power it up, push the power button. A little blue light comes on in the back. You got your display now I mean this is pretty impressive <laughs> for, for $80 this is really really impressive I mean honestly this looks almost better than the GoPro is that crazy all right guys so for $80 I'm I'm pretty impressed this screen actually looks better than the GoPro um, I haven't tried the 8 I've tried the 7 this is really, really impressive. I, I do want to say though, I just clicked that button. I don't know if you guys heard. This is probably one of the um, most inexpensively made products, I'm going to say. It doesn't even look like they skimped on the camera, but everywhere else, most definitely. On the settings, you have 1080p at 60 frames per second as the main uh, default setting. When you open it up, you have two buttons on the side right here. Uh, that it looks like it's up and down you have an okay button because hey it's okay and then you have your mode button pretty much here see if you can all right so we don't know how to use it i'm going to read the instructions download the following qr code and enter the website to download the user manual okay well that's worthless legit there is no user manual in this thing so just so you guys see there's the quick setup guide because nobody knows how to apparently take out the thing out of the case because that's super important um and then the user manual right here step seven once you get it out of your thing and you know it's been half an hour and you couldn't figure it out step seven download the qr code because they're so eco-friendly that they still made it i'm pretty salty i don't know if you know this 
All right, Sam, I'll download your precious QR code. Okay, so update. I'm in the website. I listen to Sam. He wouldn't let it go. I tried to figure it out. He's like, you're an idiot. So I had to do this. Now, look at that. Look at how nice that manual is that they didn't provide me. Good for them. No, that, that turned it off. But it says, I pressed it several times. P press my bone button several times. I, I know it's low power, but I'm, you told me to push it. There we go, okay. So you're supposed to long press in order for it to take you to these settings. So now I'm in resolution. Ah, there it is, okay. So you press the okay button. That's why the okay button's there because everything's gonna be okay. Okay, so you press it. Now you have these arrows. I'm at 1080p 60 frames per second. I wanna go 4K, I'll press okay. It has really cool things. Loop recording, gyroscope, uh, time lapse. I don't care about any of that stuff. Get me out of here. I would like to record in 4K now. Okay. So I got my memory card. The memory card goes on this side right here, right next to the charging. Okay. So I got it in there and I'm going to record. Video start. And I am going to record Sam. No, I'm not because he's going to get mad at me. I already know he's going to get mad at me. Okay. So this right here. All crumpled and stuff that that was worthless i mean i just by what i'm able to see guys i really like this um it seems like a really really good alternative to the gopro the hardest thing is probably going to be once you actually see the video if you think that it's actually good enough to replace an actual gopro i know i, I did see some reviews on this thing that um in low light settings it's gonna do really really bad well compared to the gopro I guess they don't have the night vision down. But I mean, for $80, I, for right now, I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say this is a great value with everything that you have. Is it going to destroy the GoPro um, 8? I don't know. That That's really, I mean, you're looking at two different things at this point. You're looking at something that is low cost and comes with a bunch of stuff. And then you're looking at something that's high cost that they're the ones that are actually making the new developments. This thing is probably gonna be behind its time every single uh, time. I mean, when they come out with the next version of this, GoPro will probably be two ahead. Um, but I mean, for $80, I don't think you can go wrong. What else do I need to review? All right, so I'm gonna see how we can actually use this in real world settings. So we're gonna go ahead and put this thing back in. We'll clip you in your, in your little case. Now, no one will know this is not a GoPro. <laughs> If I was gonna use this, I'd probably use it like on a gimbal or something. And uh, my gimbal will allow me to use it with something that has a normal uh, shoe mount. So if I actually use this one, I mean, it's it's a pretty simple basic one. I know that there's some, some more complex ones in here, but if I use this one on my stabilizer, and uh, that's a pretty easy fix right there. That's actually really cool. Um, as far as, you know what? Oh, I like this a lot better. The The buttons, see, here's here's the really cool thing about the buttons being kind of cheap. They're cheap plastic and you can even feel as they go in, but because they are, when you push the button in, it makes it um, a lot more reactive than like a GoPro. Um, I barely even push this and it's already recording right now. Um, and then if I push it again, just softly, and that's, that's amazing. I mean, if I want to turn this thing off, in like two seconds it turns off so i'll give them that like I, I don't think that they were trying to do it on purpose by going so cheap but it actually makes the camera a lot more user friendly yeah i don't know i mean this i you know what for this thing honestly it'll be the last thing that i say about it um nobody's gonna wear this as a watch i hate when, when manufacturers and people who make products send you stuff like this that's really cheap and they they think that like oh well maybe it's a convenience factor somebody's gonna wear this um, the reality is, is that if I'm going to use this, it's probably going to be like this as a remote clicker and transmitter that I can use because to put something this cheap on my watch, you know, is going to, it's just really going to look bad. So I probably wouldn't do that. That's, that's just my take on it. All right, guys. Well, that was the review of the, what's this thing called? Picasso? I always forget. Akaso Brave 4 within the next few days. I'm going to go ahead and record some footage, but that way you guys can see exactly what it looks like from the viewpoint of that camera. Before I let you go, there's something that I bought a few days ago, which I did as a giveaway, but I ended up sending that person a different one and I kept this one for myself. I have a mini drone 
Um, I mean, this thing fits in the palm of your hand. If you guys would like to see me review it, go ahead and let me know in the comments and I'll make a video for it as well. Oh, you know what? If there's anything else that you guys thought was really, really cool that is, you know, under $200, let me know. I might just buy it and review it. Till next time.